looking to set up your Xiaomi AC1200 mesh, you've come to the right place. So get yourself and get your box ready. In this tutorial, we will be covering the unboxing and content of the AC1200 mesh, first time installation of the Xiaomi app, the initial setup of the device and the basic use of the device in the app. Let's get to it. Okay, hopping to it and getting to the unboxing. In the box, you will find a ethernet cable, two power cables, your user manual, and then the two AC1200 mesh devices. This is for the two pack. There is a one pack and a three pack just for your information. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna install the Xiaomi Home app and we wanna do it correctly. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go to our iOS store or in this case, Play Store. We are gonna search for Xiaomi and we can see there at the top, Xiaomi Home. So we are gonna click on that and we're gonna install. Once it's installed, open the app. Now we need to actually create an account so we can say sign in and then we say create account. Now South Africa is correct, we'll put in our email address, then I've read and agreed, next. Enter the verification code that you see here. Now you can see I've already created one, so you would need to go and confirm your account. So in order to progress, I'm actually just gonna log the account, but if you don't have one, just follow the steps and sign in. Okay, allow while using the app is advantageous because a lot of the products from Xiaomi do rely on geographical data. So it is advised to allow while using the app. You can allow or not allow notifications. In this case, I'm going to allow because if for example, something happened to your router, you'll get a notification or on security cameras, for an example, you will get a notification saying, hey, something's happened. So it is beneficial to allow notifications. Okay, we are officially in and we are ready to get going. Just a couple of things. Note on the top left, you can see their studio. Note that you can go into family management and create additional profiles by pushing the plus over there and create a family group name. We are not gonna do that now. You can also go into Xiaomi's website and further customize your profile. But we are in a profile here, we've called it studio. So for example, I don't live at my studio. I have a different profile for my studio as I do for my actual home address. And we are ready to start adding devices. Okay, now that the app is set up, the first step that you want to do is plug in the router to power and then plug in the ethernet cable from the ONT into the router. Ensure that you've connected it into the internet slot of the router, it should be blue. However, if you don't have a blue internet slot, it would be slot number one on the router. Okay, now it's time to set up your AC1200 mesh. Now we note that we already have a plus over here. Now the one thing that you need to note is that I've kept the other device off on purpose, and I'll explain why just now, it's because we wanna mesh the one into the other. Normally they would do this automatically, but I wanna show you the process just in case they don't. So let's go to the plus. We're gonna say add device, and we can see there Xiaomi Mesh System AC1200. We will select that. Now we can see RD MyNet 9862. We need to find that network and we need to connect to Wi-Fi. And there it is right at the top. We will select that. Once we are connected, we will say always connect because this is gonna be permanent for you. Then we will go back to the app. Now we wanna set up as new router. We will say continue, minding that this is only the one that is plugged in. Note that the bands are automatically combined. You can undo this by selecting over there and saying, okay, I don't want these to be bound. And then you'll have to name both of those networks. But for the point of this tutorial, and I prefer to actually have them bound as one, we're gonna select that. We are gonna name this Xiaomi AC1200 mesh. Password, we're gonna set as password one, two, three. Now note right underneath there is gonna be set Wi-Fi password as the router administrator for the password. If we unselect that, we will have a different administrator password. It is recommended to do this. However, for the intents of the setup, I'm just going to have it as one. 
You will also see another icon and this icon is a option for the router or devices firmware to be automatically updated or upgraded when the router is idle. This is great for those who don't want to go into the app and manually update it or manually tick saying that you want the firmware to be updated. It has been done but now we don't have any internet connectivity and the reason for this is because we've renamed it so we need to connect back to what we've called it. So let's connect to Wi-Fi and let's find Xiaomi AC1200 mesh and select on that and put in the password that we put in which was password one two three and we will say connect. Now that we've connected, go back to the app. Now we wanna say pair router. We wanna say studio, cause that's where we are. Next, we are gonna call this still the same name because it's easier to find on the network as well as the app. We will say next, and this is now connected. But for that step, what we want to do now is we wanna add another mesh network device. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the other device. Now we have to wait for the device to turn on and it should automatically mesh. And we can tell by going to mesh network devices. Now we can see one gateway and we are waiting for the other to show its face. Now, in order to actually mesh them, you can push the mesh button on the secondary router or in the app, go to the plus button at the top right here and say search and we can connect it. Now, in order to know that it's ready for this, the orange light should be pulsing slowly. Once that's gone through, you will know that it's working when the light is holding a white color on the secondary node and you can see it in this mesh network. So we can see Studio Gateway. That's what this device is connected to, i.e. the phone that I'm busy using. And we can see a one there and then Studio, the second one, that is the node that is been connected. We can go into that device and we can even change where its location is. Now we can say this one is in the lounge and save. Now, when we go back into the mesh network, we will see lounge is displayed for the secondary node. And that is it. You have set up your network or your mesh network. Now that we set up and we're in the app, the first thing that you're gonna see is the name of the device, then underneath that, a picture of the device with the upload and download speeds, as well as the setting it's in, in Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, and so on. Then we have device management and we can see all the devices. You can go into the devices and manage things like smart speed limiting. You can deny internet access at certain times, as well as blacklist certain websites. We also have the Wi-Fi settings that you have the ability to see what the Wi-Fi name is, generate a QR code, as well as change the password. Then in router settings, we have network settings, timed restart, manage password, restart router, upgrade assistance, restore to factory settings, LED indicator controls, and IPTV. The one thing that I do wanna to touch on is upgrade assistant, as it's very convenient for your firmware to be updated, and it really helps to make sure that your Wi-Fi and network are operating optimally. Next, we have QoS speed limits, where you can limit the speed of the entire network, and then Wi-Fi optimization, in which where you click, it optimizes it by a percentage. Really cool tool to make sure that you are constantly optimizing your network. Lastly, we have router amps, which is a set timer to disable Wi-Fi. We can add guest Wi-Fi, anti-hacking and WPS. As an added bonus, we can also set up the guest Wi-Fi. You'd need to go to router apps at the bottom and select guest Wi-Fi. On the slider, just tap it or slide it so that it's on and you can see the name there. You can rename this as well as the password and encryption method. We are gonna name this to Xiaomi guest Wi-Fi and the password we will leave the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we will confirm. Now note that this will cause your Wi-Fi devices or your routers to restart and reconfigurate themselves. When this is done, it will output another signal from the router showing your guest Wi-Fi network separate from your main network or networks, depending on what you selected on the 2.4 and 5 output stage. And that's it. You can go back into the guest Wi-Fi and change things like speed, but that's for another day. But note for mesh devices that guest Wi-Fi will only output through the primary node. The first thing that we're gonna look at is if the router icon does not appear. 
If you can see that the device is not showing up, there are a few remedies to this, but first ensure that Bluetooth is on. Some of these Xiaomi devices do put out a Bluetooth signal in order to be found for first time setup. So make sure that your Bluetooth is on and you are close to the device. If that doesn't work, try turning off the device and turning it on again so that it automatically resets. You can also try restarting the application itself. And as a last resort, you can factory reset the device with the ethernet plugged out. Now I'll show you how to do this. At the back of the router, you'll find a reset button. All you need to do is hold that in. However, if none of these methods work, you can start with the first thing going scan code to add. This is the QR code and you'll scan it. It should be on the packaging and on the device itself. Now, this will automatically identify the type of device. If you don't want to do that, you can actually add the device manually and you would scroll down this list, select, we will go in to the routers or gateway or amplifier, in this case, router, and we will select which router it is. Once that's done, it's actually gonna follow the same steps because these are set up through Wi-Fi, so you're not missing anything. Basically, it's almost like fast tracking a step where you would go and search for the Wi-Fi signal that this router is outputting, and then we just carry on. The second thing that we're going to look at is if you get this connection issue. Now, if you see this image while you are setting up, don't be troubled. It does happen every now and again, and I've developed a list of troubleshooting for you to be able to sort it out. The first and most simple thing, and the thing that's happened to me a few times because I run quite a few devices in my home, is just to unplug the ethernet cable out of the router and plug it back in and try again. This works 99% of the time, it's just because the device was struggling to pick up who or what it was in a complicated situation like mine. However, if this doesn't work, there are other things that you can do. The second thing that you'd want to do is turn off and turn on the device again and just wait for it to restart and then again, try again. You may have to go back into the menu and basically forge yourself into the steps, but that will also be a potential remedy. The third thing that you can do is turn on and off your ONT. Sometimes it's sitting with old settings and you'd need to turn it off for about 20 seconds or so and then turn it on for those settings to refresh to allow it to connect to a new router. The other thing that you can do is try a different cable. Sometimes the cable that you're working with just doesn't work and it's the most frustrating thing because you're doing everything right, but simply trying another cable does work in many cases. The last resort that I would say is a factory reset by going to the reset button, holding it in for 10 seconds and then waiting for the orange light to appear and then going through these steps again. However, just because the first steps didn't work didn't mean that they were the incorrect ones because sometimes you have to do it a few times. Sometimes it's just a case of the router just trying to figure itself out and just trying these things a few times actually ends up with success. And the last thing is an extra step, which will be rare, but if you do not have internet because your ISP requires an extra step and you have an exclamation mark where your Wi-Fi logo appears. Now, in order to get your internet connection, it's just querying that the new device that you set up was actually by you because things do happen. And all you need to do is follow the prompts on the screen. In my case, you just need to send an SMS and you would get a code to say, okay, cool, this is in fact you, and the internet would push through. You actually do have internet, but the ISP is blocking any packets from being sent because they're just trying to make sure that in fact that it is you. So if you do see this, just follow the steps. If you're unsure, just give your ISP a call, but note that you have successfully set up your device. Another top tip for when setting up your mesh devices and you're trying to actually mesh the one node to the other, ensure that they are not too close to each other, around about five meters away from each other should be good. Once you've set it up, you can move the device thereafter and then re-optimize your network. Just to get through the step, if they are too close, it will not allow you to mesh the devices and sometimes it doesn't even pick up the secondary or tertiary node. Now, if you're connecting a device or router that is a mesh device and you already have a Xiaomi mesh router in your house or mesh device in your house, it is important to note the following. Ensure all other mesh Xiaomi mesh items are turned off or the new device that you have will automatically map itself into your mesh network. 
If you've accidentally done this already and can't find it, it's because it's propagated itself into your network and it's hidden its Wi-Fi. Do not stress. To fix this, all you need to do is simply unplug the Ethernet from the new device and then reset the device by holding in the reset button for 10 seconds and you will see an orange light. Then start the process again with all other mesh turned off. And that's it. You should have successfully set up your device and should be using it capably. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll get to it as soon as possible or hopefully a community member gets there first. Cheers. Goodbye.